Hi there, this is Jeremy speaking from Video Gamers Oasis. I'd like to personally welcome you to my TikTok channel. Also, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis, and click the notification bell. I've been reading the book, Art of Atari, Deluxe Edition by Tim Lepatino. I'm reading the history section on page 10. We've been starting to read The Birth of Atari, Engineering a Dream on page 11. And now, the conclusion of the chapter on page 18. As part of his new company, Atari Corporation, Corporation, pardon me. The rest of the original Atari, including the coin op division, was promptly rebranded as Atari Games Incorporated and would remain in control of, of Warner through the year. After selling controlling interest in Atari Games to longtime arcade partner Namco, the original heart of Atari Incorporated would last for two more decades and several name changes before closing down in 2003. Tramiel's Atari Corporation would go on to release the, the 7800 Pro system, additional consoles, computers, and many other games. But neither company would ever equal the success of the original Atari Incorporated. Those brightest chapters were squarely in the rear view mirror, now just a part of the company's history. There's a little bold text below that uh, paragraph. It reads, Atari Assembly line workers packaged the Sears branded Atari VCS, dubbed the Cartridge Telegamer, Telegame System Video Arcade. And here's the photograph for that description. My name is Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis. I'd like to thank you for listening to me read The Art of Atari by Tim Labatino. And we've been reading the history of Atari, the birth of Atari, specifically on page 11 to page 18. That's all the time we have for this reading. Tune in the next chapter. We'll, before that, we'll be another day. <laughs> I'm going to be reading some uh, enjoyable uh, graphical Atari ads, really old ads another day. After we look at all those old Atari ads, we're going to move on to the next section of the book, Art and Design. And the first uh, paragraph and chapter of that section of the book will be The Imagination Gap, the role of art and design in early games. I hope you'll join me for those future readings. I'm looking forward to continuing this book. It's very educational for me. I'm very fascinated and excited about the uh, history of video game uh, art, specifically Atari art. I'm Jeremy from Video, Gamer, video Gamers Oasis. If you enjoyed this, uh, this video, make sure to follow my TikTok, Video Gamers Oasis, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis, and click the notification bell. Leave it a like if you'd be so kind. Smash the like button if you feel inclined. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other. And we'll see you again real soon. All the best. Bye.